I'm Jeff Cook, and my wife, Laura, and I, and our three boys have been attending Pathfinder since 2005. I was the CFO here on staff from 2009 until 2018. In the beginning of 2017, I, I think I was feeling really good about where life was, but I started having this nagging. It felt like God was prompting me to think about what the future held. I ended up in a place where I started looking around. I think this was just a process that God wanted me to walk through so I would know that I was in the right spot. And then out of nowhere, I heard about a job opening and I pushed back on it. I just felt strongly that, no, this isn't for me. The opportunity just would not go away. And I started feeling God nudging me to check it out. It was scary. There were moments where I felt like God was not answering the questions that I had. And then at other times I felt him saying, just take one more step. I had felt like I had so much to lose. Our lives are so tied up in this church, but I just kept feeling like God was telling me to take another step. And so I kept trusting him in that. Ultimately, it led to me accepting a job. And it really was a company that I thought really had kind of a nonprofit heart. Um, really a company that wanted to do good for people, wanted to share God's love with people. And so it was a really exciting opportunity. At the same time, walking away from Pathfinder was one of the hardest things I've ever done. I make the change and it's full of excitement. Um, it's also full of all kinds of unknowns. There were some market forces there that nobody in the organization expected. I ended up going from helping this organization to kind of reboot and grow to a place where I'm helping the organization split in half. I went with a completely new ownership group uh, with part that had spun off. I really struggled for a few months there, understanding why God was leading me down this road. I was in a place very much of becoming the typical sit in your office, crunch the numbers accountant, which is not exactly how I'm wired. And so I started to see some purpose out of it. My wife was able to pursue an education for a new career to become a counselor. And I really felt like God had me in that place that was freeing up more of my time. I didn't have the demands I had before. And it really was kind of a holding point for me. As it turned out, I helped the company to split, but there wasn't enough of either company left to maintain my position. And so suddenly I'm in the office with the owner and he is saying, hey, I gotta let you go. And I'm going from a place where I'm finally adjusting to this idea that maybe this was where God has me into a holding pattern for a, for a couple of years to a place where everything has turned on its head again. So I have a friend who reached out immediately and he wasn't just saying, I'm praying for you. He said, we're gonna meet for lunch. He laid out everything he had done when he had been in this position and it gave me such a jump on how to attack this issue that I was now facing that was such a big deal in my life. And so it was amazing to see the way the body of Christ in this place rallied around me. Having that community and having those relationships that sometimes seem like relationships that were there, but not the willingness you would have expected for people just to jump in, to drop what they were doing to help. And it kind of is how I ended up getting the job that I got. I know there are a lot of people in this same situation, especially this year with COVID and, and all the closures. I would say what I've learned through this process is first and foremost, always lean on God. Don't cut that relationship off, even when it doesn't feel like you're getting the answers you want. Secondly, lean, lean on your family and your close friends. And the third thing though that I would say that is really important is don't shut down reach out to people. Don't be embarrassed of the situation you find yourself in. You will be amazed at the community you have and the way that they will rally around you and help you through this process. You need to cast your net as wide as you can and God will guide you to the right place.